So let's talk a little bit about uh, asate and what uh, what it means and uh, how how it works. Yeah, um, asate is the concept about or build it up on the first study on the effects of myself and of the of the study results, and is a is a concept especially uh, to make therapy for sleep apnea patients or snoring uh, problems for persons, and uh, the idea of mine was done in my time that uh, I have to make harder effects deeper in the throat than when I play traditional didgeridoo because traditional didgeridoo is more playing on front side of the mouth to make rhythms and sounds very great I play that too uh, but uh, like the student explained me it isn't enough for sleep apnea collapsing situation in the throat and so it's a uh, basically, it's a combination of muscle training, of air pressing uh, points, and of concentration elements. And when the timing of these three um, points are going on the right uh, result or end or final essential point, then is the effect very high. So we have, or well, we had also a patient now the last uh, year. Uh, who had um, mild, moderate, also savory apnea patients, but always important is by a moderate or savory situation, you have to use always the CVAP in the first period of three months in therapy because um, the reaction of muscles or connective tissue inside of the throat needs time, like in a other body outwork. And so it's very important to use CVAP and to coming down with the index and then to look how it works after two or three months. That was the effect. Okay, so severe sleep apnea should probably always be treated with CPAP uh, yeah. and the didgeridoo always as a supplemental yeah. uh, therapy. Correct, supplemental. Yeah. What, what role do you believe circular breathing plays or doesn't play in asate didge therapy? Uh, circular breathing uh, technique is complicated. A lot of people who are uh, using that or beginners see that it's not so easy. Um, it's optimizing the therapy, but it's not uh, necessary to make the effects. We had in the first study uh, patients with circular breathing technique using or, or without, and uh, both had the same effect because the therapy technique is. Uh, enough strong to make the stronger uh, situation deeper in the in the truth. But this uh, it's clear when you can play 20 minutes without breaking, inclusive this uh, circle breathing, then it's easier or it's better to relax. And so I think to optimize it's very good, but it's not uh, not uh, a point which had to be to make effect. Okay. That answers a, an important question. I think a lot of people believe it's circular breathing that is w how you get the effect that helps yeah. sleep apnea. So it was interesting meeting you and finding out that that wasn't necessarily true. Yes, the that point you is uh, you can imagine that uh, in when you are using circular breathing, you don't have a high pressure in the throat. It's only to make the bridge for the sound, to hold the sound, and so you don't have this pressure which you need in the therapy. You can uh, play the sound, make the therapy technique, and then after you have to integrate the circular breathing and going on with the technique. This, is, this works very good. Yeah. So when you uh, first, uh, just to digress a little bit, when you first went back to retest after your experiment with didgeridoo, did the, your doctor at that time think that maybe it could have been something else or a fluke or did they just uh, out of curiosity did he pretty much believe that the didgeridoo is what really helped? Uh, for the doctors it was, it was 10 years ago it was very um, difficult to understand because outside you there see only that I blow in the tube and I make vibrations okay and uh, this was then also interesting because um, we had an international publication in the British Medical Journal and about this publication the National Geographic was coming from Canada to make a production over the, the study and the contents of the study 
and uh, they asked me there if it's possible when uh, we, we only can put a camera through my nose downside to have a look in my throat when I'm playing it through it. Right. So I had to play um, um, in the in endoscopy situation. Mm -hmm. uh, did we do with the cable downside? You were looking at uh, from front side, and what was difficult, but uh, the end effect was to see that uh, it's working very hard inside. Open the throat, vibrations, and uh, so they um, had the possibility. To we in visual situation to see okay there is going on anything in the truth right. not in a trial but only to imagine that it could work when, when, uh, when I use the technique yeah. yes what about uh, the non medical related uh, benefit of playing didgeridoo um, a lot of people find the the sound and the action of playing didgeridoo to be very calming. Um, do you back it up with your experience, both using it for therapy and then playing it also more, you know, contemporary style for fun? Um, do you find it relaxing or is it still strictly a therapy for you? Uh, no, it's because in the first time when I was searching uh, an option for myself, um, I had uh, thinking a lot a lot of time about the way resolution, and one thing was clear: when I have to play the rest of my life something, then it had to be an instrument because that I can play the rest of my life, and it was only a question which one. And with the um, didgeridoo, the difference to from the tridu to trumpet or alphorn in Swiss we use alphorn too, is that the tridu makes harder effects in vibration situation, mm -hmm. and um, my idea was to use the tridu physically to make harder effects inside. Then the tridu uh, makes effects over the bones in the nervous system that you can relax. A second positive side effect, and then the third point was you're holding the training in the respiration tract, and when you are doing that the rest of your life, you feel better always. And so for me, as uh, the option be, uh, after the therapy is, I think it's very important, is that a person can play um, the traditional digital technique or learn it after the therapy and learn to combine music with therapy. Mm -hmm. And for the future, so you have the possibility or the opportunity to play the tridu with the effects of the therapy. Okay. Yeah.